Hello, it's your bro, Sir Roger Oxford. In this video, I'm pretty much talking about an interesting topic that has been puzzling me and a topic that I have brought up multiple occasions, especially online and blogs and other social media outlets. And it's pretty much the a possible relationship between um, Jon Snow and, the, and Sansa Stark. And after the revelation in season seven of Jon's true parentage, of him being the son of Rhaegar Targa Targaryen Layla Stark it pretty much um, made it obvious that Jon is not just the heir of um, the true heir of the Iron Throne but he's also like a Targaryen a full Targaryen um, he's not a bastard and he's actually the cousin of Sansa Stark and pretty much it's obvious that Sansa already knows this due to the fact that when um, she when um she got information against um Littlefinger in his trial uh, from um Brand's Brand the little brother Brand Stark's visions and his three eyed Raven's abilities, it's pretty obvious that Brand Stark immediately um gave the information to his siblings to so they could know the full information. So pretty much when it's revealed of John's true parentage um, his his bannerman and even his siblings will be aware of his true parentage before he actually does before like you know pretty much John figures out finds out by on um, Bran Stark and also Samuel Tully and again um we gotta go all the way back to season one in Sansa's um character Sansa always wanted to be the queen she always wanted to be um, the queen of the Iron Throne and just a lady of a, a, a pretty much a, a lady of a prince and just be a possible queen. And that's like she was always a fan of the stories and um, fairy tale stories and stuff like that. And she was trained to be a lady and she was expected to be the next queen of um, the Southern Kingdom and the wife of Joffrey Baratheon. And um and even in um, season 7 when Arya reunites with Sansa Arya mentioned this multiple times that Sansa always wanted to be a lady and and even in um, season 7 and Sansa you could tell Sansa actually enjoys being the the lady of Winterfell and she likes um being and she's pretty she is like Jon's suitor and she she not really like really suitor but like consul like she tells him she gives him advice and she also speaks out in some of his decisions and she's the only one that's openly able to do it due to her being you know the supposed sibling of um Jon Snow and when Sansa figures out that Jon is in fact not her cousin not not her brother but her cousin and, and he's not a bastard she will um develop relationship um romantic um pursuit for john due to the fact that he does resemble her father and personality and honor bound traits as well and john is known to have the features of um the members of how the male members of house stock and more features than um even um ned stark's true born um children so Sansa will develop a, a romantic pursuit towards um, John. Also, just the whole fantasy thing. She knows John, and she always wants to be the queen. So if she, it, 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 she won't be pre presented, but she will also questions um, John's decision to pursue a relationship with the Norse Targaryen, and she will definitely be an opposite of John's. Um, attraction towards the Norse Targaryen and believe it or not Arya Stark might be a supporter of um, Sansa and also dislike the relationship between Jon and the Norse and not actually trust in the Norse Targaryen due to her um, her father being a Mad King Ares, even though Jon Snow is the grandson of the Mad King Ares. but it, it would be tension between House Stark and House Targaryen in a fact and also, you know, um, again, like, uh, it's, it's, a, it's pretty obvious that um, Sansa will pursue a relationship with Jon Snow. And Jon might develop some type of um, feelings towards Sansa. And um, 
it, it might be present, especially it depends on how um the the if they actually develop an attraction, but it might it might also be rushed the same way um the romantic tension between um Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen was rushed. So it would probably develop in a love triangle between Daenerys Targaryen, Sansa Stark and Jon Snow. And it it will also bring a little bit of conflict. But at the same time, I do not believe um, Jon Snow will be able to bear a child for Denorsi Targaryen. I believe Denorsi Targaryen is officially barren. Because remember, she was poisoned in season two. Not poisoned, but um, cursed with blood magic. And the, the same blood magic helped her develop um, her dragons. Like, hatch the dragon eggs. So, pretty much, and pretty much what I'm trying to say is the obvious that there will be um another romantic um tension between Sansa Stark and Jon Snow it's gonna happen you know and it, it's a it's also another possibility that it might not happen but it's still a strong possibility that Jon Snow and, and Sansa Stark might possibly you know hook up they they might not hook up but they will be the it will be like some type of um, romantic tension between the two and as like I explained earlier that it is it's, it's gonna happen and if something happens to Donorsi if John actually survives and Donorsi doesn't John will ha will obviously pick um Sansa either as his wife or his consul you know to to help him rule you know and he's gonna pick Sansa because she's the best capable um um like ruler you know next to Denorsi so if something happens to Denorsi she dies in childbirth or she dies by the hands of the Ninth King in a great battle then who do you think Jon Snow's gonna pick there's not any suitors especially highborn so Jon Snow's gonna hook up with Sansa Stark it's gonna happen and it is gonna happen that's what, I, that's what I assume. So it's been your brother, Roger Oxford. Please give me a like and subscribe. Later. Peace out.